Let me share with you High Limit Credit Union Credit Card for Fair Credit. This is an absolutely important video to watch because it's going to help you get the credit card, the credit union credit card that you really are dreaming about getting. Don't you go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Suri Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you were to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about the top 10 credit union credit cards for fair credit. And we are speaking about credit, credit card that allows you to have high limits, okay? Not a, a tiny ass limit, but a very massive limit, okay? Number 10, we have a Fairwinds Cashback Visa. Our score is 7 over 10. What we love with this card is that, as the name implies, it is a cashback Visa credit card, okay? The APR is decent. You have 10.49% to 18%. This is really good. And so and you get 1.5% cashback on all purchases. Think about it. This is really good. And so if you, this is a card you can use for everyday purchases. And so if your goal is to rack up as much uh, cashback rewards as possible, boss, this is the card. This is, this could be the card for you. Okay. Uh, obviously, if you qualify for membership, actually, this is they actually accept nearly everyone. So, but just give them a call and they'll let you know. And the card is kind of cool because it has no annual fee, it has no balance transfer fee, it has no foreign transaction fees. Think about it. This is really cool. And on top of that, they have a zero percent intro intro rate on purchases and balance transfers for the first twelve months from account opening. So. Overall, this is a solid card. We really love the fact that you also have uh, mobile wallet options for Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, and Google Pay. So overall, this card is great if you have, let's say you have a, a family or you are by yourself and you spend a lot and you're just trying to rack up as much, as many rewards, as I said, as many cashback rewards every day. Number nine, we have uh, Alliance Visa Platinum. Our score, 7.5 over 10. Another thing, what we... When we think about this aligned business credit card, we think about balance transfer. We're thinking about debt consolidation. Okay, the card is as cool because it has a zero percent intro rate for twelve months on purchases and balance transfers. But after that, you have an APR that goes from ten point forty nine percent to twenty two point forty nine percent. Okay, this card doesn't give you cash back. This card doesn't give you rewards or whatever. Okay, and this is a strictly I would say a balance transfer credit card. So this is great if you want to transfer, let's say uh, high balances from other credit cards, this is good. One thing we love with Align is that they are very fast and approving credit card, credit cards for a fair credit. Their customer service is great. And they do have a generous, generous uh, credit limits. Okay, they will really work with you. But the, the only thing is that when they ask you for uh, additional information on your credit card application, you don't want to ghost them. You want to actually uh, respond quickly. Okay, this is important. Number eight, we have a NIH FCU Visa Platinum. Our score, eight over 10. And this is a, we love this card for several reasons. First of all, we love the fact that you can use it for balance transfers, okay? And you can also charge massive purchases on the card. So you can use it for purchases also, why? Because the card has a 0% intro APR for the first 15 months on purchases and balance transfers. Think about that. So strategically, you want to use this card for purchases, especially massive purchases, okay? And uh, after the intro period is over, you have an, a variable APR that oscillates from 8.24% uh, to 17.24%. So how do you use this card? How do you use this card strategically? Well, if you're a family of four or five or, what, or, or you're by yourself, and you have a big a big purchase to make okay let's say you want to renovate the house or you want to uh, you want to you want to do something you can charge it on the card unfortunately this card has no cashback has no rewards but again you don't use it for those things you use it for 
for balance transfers and you use it for uh, for purchases you have credit limits up to twenty five thousand dollars you heard it right twenty five thousand dollars okay and uh, the card is great you have uh you have a contactless tap to pay convenience which is really good you have 24 7 uh, fraud monitoring and visa zero liability all the traditional uh, security features are with the card number seven we have first tech choice rewards world our score eight over ten now first thing first this is another card that's great for uh, balance transfers but what we love with this card really is the rewards points program okay so let's first talk about uh, the apr so you have a zero percent intro apr balance transfer rate for 12 billion cycles so if you're thinking about doing this this is kind of cool so after that you we have a an apr that ranges from 8.50 to 18 percent. so this is good and uh but the, the good thing is you really get rewards when with a card and which is why you want to use this card think about it you can earn twenty thousand bonus rewards points when you spend three thousand dollars in the first 60 days and you earn two rewards points for every dollar spent on groceries gas electronics medical household goods and telecommunications and you have one reward point for every dollar spent on all other purchases okay and the cool thing is you can redeem reward points for travel merchandise events experiences gift cards and cash and no points maximum and your points never expire so this is a card to have if you are into the rewards point game this is fantastic fantastic okay so you are earning rewards on everyday purchases this is kind of cool number six we have acu green rewards card our score 8.5 over 10 and acu stands for america's credit union okay by the way and what we love is that this card is, is uh, great if you have less than perfect credit okay uh, because they actually uh, would uh, welcome you if you have a, a credit score as low as 550 on top of that this card is great for cash back if you're looking for cash back this is kind of good if, if you're looking for cash back with fair or poor credit this card is great because the card has a max it has a lot of benefits first of all the cash back we have 1.5 percent think about it this is really good the card has no annual fee okay and uh we kind of love uh they have a 6.99 percent apr on balance transfers and they say forever in other words th there's no intro apr period if you transfer the balance they just uh, lock you in with a 6.99 percent apr on, on those transfers but we think you can get better elsewhere but you know 6.99 that's too much but overall hey listen the cashback rewards are great you earn 1.5 percent cashback on everything you buy okay this is kind of cool and uh, one thing i also want to say is that this the application process for acu is relatively simple as long as you qualify for their membership uh, re uh for the membership yeah and uh, i also want to say that uh, they also give you a 25 great a 25 day grace period on on payments okay so fair and low credits are welcome number five we have ccu platinum card our score 8.5 over 10 so CCU, we are speaking about consumers credit union, okay? And one thing for that you you have with this card is that you basically have a uh, balance transfers for 12 months, okay? So you have a zero percent APR on new purchases and uh, balance transfers for 12 months. The thing here is that this card is only good for balance transfers, nothing else, because the card does not allow you to earn rewards points, does not allow you to earn cash back okay so it's all about just transferring the right uh, balance balances onto this card and just keeping it there and uh, just repay the balance over time okay and uh, one thing we love also is that with ccu you actually get uh, you get approved relatively uh, faster than other credit unions okay they're really fast they, everything is automated they have things online and they take care of things online so if you want if you want more information you can call 1-877-ASK-CCCU 1-877-275-2228 number four boss i'm talking to you we are speaking about the connexus platinum card our score nine over ten so when you think about the platinum uh the connexus platinum card the thing here is that you want to use this card for again 
for balance transfers or if you have a large a large purchase you want to actually play the purchase game also on this card why because can you believe they are giving you zero percent intro apr for the first 24 billing cycles 24 so the, this Sano game they're serious here okay they're giving this to you based on purchases and balance transfers so for two years you have nothing to pay so if you have a if you have a large purchase coming up this is a card for you okay but after the intro period is over let's say the two years are, are, are over they're charging you 14.74 percent to 24.74 percent based on your credit worthiness if you were to ask us this is a decent this is a decent delta 14.74 to 24.74 this is good and the thing here is that you can actually uh, easily add this card to your mobile device for simple secure payment okay so the card has all the traditional security features in terms of uh, being secured and protected you can monitor your account online the card has no annual fee okay and uh, one thing i want to say also with this card is that it's great for balance transfers okay if you membership the membership application is uh, is it's fast they will actually react to you really fast and if you get approved transfer the balances asap so you can start actually benefiting from the zero percent apr that is on the balance transfer number three we have service credit union visa every day i was scored nine over ten so this card is great if you are actually uh let's say you have low credit or poor or fair credit and you are trying to establish your credit this is a great card it is a great card on top of that they give you a zero percent intro apr for six months on purchases and balance transfers okay and the card is kind of generous in terms of limits think about it they have a limit up to uh, a limit of up to twenty thousand dollars this is really cool and they have no annual fee this is really good and they have no hidden apr increases for late payments so this is really great okay so the service credit union visa every day on top of that once the the intro period is over you have an APR that ranges from 8.40% to 16.40%. So this is kind of cool overall, okay? This is a card that, again, you, you want to have if you have a fair credit or you have a poor credit and you happen to qualify for a service credit union, this is a great card to have. So service credit union, Visa every day, 9 over 10. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Security Kiwi Show. I'm still having a conversation with you about uh, credit union credit cards for fair credit. We're speaking about with the high limits, okay? And uh, number two, we have uh, the PenFed Power Cash Rewards. Our score, 9.5 over 10. When you're thinking about this card, I mean, the name says it all. We're thinking about cashback, okay? And the cool thing is PenFed is a national credit union. You don't have to have a military affiliation, okay? Either... Uh, professionally either biologically or either geographically they'll take you they'll take your ass anytime and anywhere you live okay and uh, so this this card is for cashback if you really want to earn cashback on everyday purchases this is a great card for you why because you have a 1.5 percent on all purchases with your card this is really cool okay and uh, you even have better better cashback rewards if you are a PenFed Honors Advantage member, which I strongly advise you to become. And on top of that, this card allows you to, uh, so the purchase APR after the intro period is over, is uh, it goes from $15.99 to $17.99. A little high though, but it is what it is, okay? And uh, you can actually transfer a balance with this card. They have a zero percent intro APR, and uh, you can uh, you use the you can transfer balances. The card has no fees. We're talking about no annual fees, no foreign transaction fees. This is really cool. Number one, the best of the best in our view, Navy Fed Cash Rewards. Our score a ten over ten. So right off the bat, one thing we love with this card is that not only they do approve you real fast, even if you have fair credit, they actually give you you can actually earn a two hundred dollars bonus cash back this is really cool okay and the card is kind of cool if you are a family of four or six or three or two or you're by yourself and you are willing to get cash back 
you want to get cashback on everyday spending this is really good and on top of that if you are already a member you can find out if you pre-qualify for this navy fed cash rewards card even before you submit an application and this is something i really advise you to do because this will preserve your uh, your credit score this is a soft pull okay so no uh, no harm to your to your credit score and uh you actually so the the uh, the card is not for balance transfers at all no you want to use this card for uh, for cashback the apr goes from 9.99% 9.90 percent rather to 18 percent okay there are no fees at all no annual fees no balance transfer fee no foreign transaction fees no cash advance fees but for the uh, for the cashback you can earn up to 1.75 percent cashback on all purchases and you can start redeeming rewards as soon as you earn them okay this is really good and there are no rewards limit no rewards expiration while the account is open this is kind of cool one thing I want to say in general, when we talk about credit union, credit cards for fair credit, we are speaking about a lot of things. And uh, you got to have a clear idea of how to apply for a credit card and get approved, especially from a credit union. First of all, you want to start by zero in on, you want to zero in on uh, the right credit union. Okay. Look around. You want to start looking for credit unions locally. And then you can look for one, one or two credit unions at the national level. Okay, either PenFed or, or Navy Fed, okay, or Connexus for that matter. And the, once you do this, you want to uh, you want to actually talk to someone on the phone, or you want to uh, bring your ass to the to the to the branch and have a conversation there. So you can there you can actually estimate your odds of approval. Okay, even before they do a hard pull on you, on you, you know exactly what's really happening and know your credit score and what it means. So when we talk about fair credit, we are speaking about 580 to 669 so if you are in that range if you happen to have a a fair credit score make sure that you uh, you need to ascertain that score in other words you need to check your FICO score and make sure that there's no errors there there's no error and everything is fine there are no derogatory items that you are now responsible for okay if you are if you are a victim of identity theft you want to fix that ASAP it's important and think about your needs what do you need Okay, why do you need a card for it? Do you want to carry? Do you want to? You know, want, do you want a card for it? Transfer and balances. Do you uh, mind paying an annual fee? Do you want to earn rewards? Do you want to earn a, ca a cashback rewards or rewards points? What is? What are your needs? Okay, and you want to learn about important credit card terms. In other words, once you actually focus on a credit card that you want from a credit union, you want to think about what is the purchase intro APR, what is the penalty APR, what is the balance transfer intro APR. Let's have a conversation about that, okay? And uh, the thing here is that uh, you reflexively, you systematically want to look for pre-approval. That way you can actually cover, uh, you can actually cover, you can preserve, again, I said this before, you want to preserve your credit score, okay? And uh, so you just have to do this. And one thing you also need to pay attention to is to have a budget because you need to actually uh, determine a repayment strategy so you're charging you're charging purchases and balance transfers on the card how are you going to repay the the, the the whatever balance you have on the card are you currently working do you have a budget Do you have cash coming in regularly so those are things you need to think about beforehand not after the fact before the facts okay very quintessential So when we talk about credit union credit cards for fair credit, they ask for the, on the application form itself, they ask a couple of uh, uh, the couple of criteria. They ask you to provide some 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 information, right? Your full name, your your legal name, of course, your date of birth, address, social security number, annual income. Those are the traditional things. And if you are self-employed, make sure that you are able to provide your annual income. Also, it can be projected projected. That's fine. Okay. And uh, the the bottom line here is that they want to make sure that they can verify your income. So your income must be verifiable, okay? Either from the in the employer directly or through paperwork such as uh, your W-2s, your 1099s, your income tax return. So they'll, they'll pay attention to your 1040, especially your Schedule C if you have a business on the side or some kind of gig going on, okay? So they'll pay attention to your Schedule C also. And if you are applying for a business credit card, 
um, at the credit union. In other words, if you're applying for a personal credit card and a business credit card, there, there are a couple of things they, will, they might ask you. They will, might ask you for your EIN, your employer identification number, okay? Because some people actually apply for two cards at the same time from the same credit union because they just want to boost their relationship with them. They, they started, they have a direct deposits and uh, they're just simultaneously running a, um, a single member LLC on the side. And they have a business credit card also. So make sure that for the business credit card, they will ask you for your EIA. For the personal credit card, they will ask you for your social security number or your TIN, for that matter, your tax identification number. Okay. And please remember that if they uh, deny your application, it's not the end, of, the end of the world. Okay. They'll let you know the reasons why they denied your ass. And it's important to read things through and uh, not, not get mad, not panic at all. Because when we talk about credit cards, when we talk about a credit game, it is a game. So don't hit the player. Understand the game. And uh, is it because of your credit? Is it because of your credit utilization ratio? Your DTI? The, the credit card issuer will let you know why they denied you. And it's just all about you working on it. Working on those reasons, okay? And remember that you can also reconsider. There's something called a rec reconsideration line where you can call and just ask them to reconsider their decision. It is possible and it is your legal right, okay? And uh, if you ask them to reconsider, you want to have uh, clear reasons why you, you are doing so. Don't just give no bogus reasons. You want to give solid reasons why you, they should do so. The bottom line here is what? The bottom line is you need to know exactly why you're applying for a credit union credit card for fair credit, but you need to have the right preparation so that when you apply, you are more likely to be approved. It's important, okay? There is no uh, randomness here. It's all about calculation. It's all about having the right strategy. Before I do a recap, please check out this credit card evaluation approach. We do have a strict methodology on this show when it comes to... Uh, let's say reviewing, categorizing, and the listing business credit cards, personal credit cards, credit union credit cards, okay? And check this out. recap today's conversation here are the top 10 credit union credit cards for fair credit number one we have navy fed cash rewards 10 over 10 number two we have the pen fed power cash rewards 9.5 over 10 number three we have service credit union visa every day 9 over 10 number four we have connexus platinum card 9 over 10 number five we have ccu platinum card 8.5 over 10 number six we have the acu green rewards card 8.5 over 10 Number seven, we have the First Tech Choice Rewards World, 8 over 10. Number eight, we have the NIH FCU Visa Platinum, 8 over 10. Number nine, we have the Alliant Visa Platinum, 7.5 over 10. And number 10, we have the Fairwinds Cashback Visa, 7 over 10. Thank you so much for your attention. I will see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.